What's going on, guys? Moose78 back at you. It's Tuesday, so that means another new episode of Stories from the Road. Now, we left off here uh, last episode. We started out the trip, and the driver was already a little bit sleepy. So we had to pull into the service station and take our 10-hour break because we're not able to stop anywhere we want to in the game, take our break. And this was the closest point or the closest spot, so I pulled in here, took our 10-hour break. Now we're all fresh, ready to go, rested up. Let's get backed out here. God, this track IR. Love this thing. Things the tits. And just real quick, if you're new to the series, what, uh, or if you're new to the channel, or the series, either or, let's just say if you're new, uh, what this series is, is it's just me, uh, talking about stuff in-game, uh, like right now, I'm kind of doing, uh, an in-game review over the next few episodes, uh, but it's, it's basically my Let's Play series, I do some commentary on the videos, uh, we talk about certain topics, uh, might share some of my experiences in the truck sim community. Uh, we'll talk some real trucking. Could talk some uh, just PC hardware, things like that. Just whatever I find uh, particularly interesting at the time that I sit down to do this. So hopefully you enjoy it. But to recap real quick, uh, last week we talked a little bit about uh, the map scale and just how small that is. And we also talked about the ability, you know, the inability to be able to stop anywhere and uh, take a break. Get rolling out of town here. And yeah, in the last episode, I did turn around at the uh, Tesla Motors. Want to be back there. But when I was first starting to record uh, this week's episode some technical difficulties, so I kind of had to start over. So that's why we're driving past that again. off on the exit here. And I think I pretty much got the track IR dialed in. I know I talked a little bit about it last week. But I'm just really, really loving this thing. Gosh, and I just really, really love killing the truck all the time. I'm still trying to get a couple things uh, tweaked and dialed in with the G27. I haven't done too much with it yet. I did the other day kind of go in and adjust my uh, brake sensitivity and things like that. That seemed to help a little bit. But I still need to go in and kind of tweak some things to kind of mitigate some of these uh, goofy ass stuff. I know some of the guys give me hell every time I kill it hurts my feelings. They don't care. Bastards. Stop. Stop! Son of a bitch. I am grinding gears a lot less, though, so... You guys be proud of me for that. Can't you? Well, as we get going here, uh, we'll start to talk a little bit more in-game discussion, in-game review stuff. And kind of this week, I guess, we'll talk about the road system and the intersections. Which I think we can all kind of agree that the intersections in the game, and I know they've uh, patched some of them with this latest patch to where, there's, uh, where they could fix them. There's no more stoplights, stop signs all in the middle of the interstate, which, yikes. Not sure how that got in the game to begin with. Now, if it was, say, a U.S. highway, that would be perfectly normal. 
there's always tons of intersection stoplights and things like that when you're going through you know some of the small towns or towns or whatever when you're you know traveling on the u.s highways but the interstate system is something completely different peekaboo and i noticed uh over on atsmods.lt there's a uh a uh, member over there, I believe his name was Rookie31, if I got that wrong, I apologize, but it looks like they're going back and they're fixing a lot of the intersections in the game. Um, I need to go back and download them all and put them in and see how that, all that works. Uh, kind of curious to see if it works with any of the map mods or if it's just for the vanilla map. Either way, it looks like they're doing a great job with that and I definitely want to get those downloaded and check that out. But uh, I want to say there was probably six or so at least where they went back at various locations of the map. I think there was one in Barstow, Vegas. That was some pretty intricate stuff too. Like really good work. Don't know if I've been on this road yet or not. This looks kind of interesting. This is the stuff I'd like to see more of in the game. You know, the hills, the mountains, things like that. You know, when you're traveling on the interstate quite a bit in this game, it just seems so flat. Like, even up uh, in Nevada and stuff like that. I'd love to see more and more roads like this out here on the west coast. Especially when you get up into the north, northern parts of California and Nevada and things like that. Man, this could be, this could be fun. It'd be cool to see them also, uh, you know, on the interstates out west, you see a lot of the uh, emergency ramps where if a truck's brakes fail, it can't get slowed down when it's coming down a large grade, there's an emergency off ramp that they pull off into that it slows them down and, you know, they run into you know, this huge pile of sand or something like that. And I've heard a lot of people talk about the road system in Rig and Roll. I've not played Rig and Roll. Kind of want to go back and play it just to see. But uh, everything I've heard, the road system is really kind of good in that game. Here lately, I've been running a lot of the two lanes in the game, and it's kind of fun. Just wish there were longer stretches, like the interstate, and kind of like everything else. Just wish it was a little bit, a little bit longer. But I guess kind of a good comparison, since I've not played Rig and Roll, is uh, Ivan's Cali map, which is based off of the Rig and Roll, the uh, Rig and Roll map there, and that that was undoubtedly the best mod for haul and hands down and the road system and that was really really good you had a nice mix of two lane roads you had some stretches where you were on two lane roads for quite a bit then you had a stretch where you were on some u.s uh, four lane highways and then you know you got into the big interstate systems and things like that You know, it'd just be nice when you're, you know, around L.A. and stuff like that if you had the massive multi-lane highways instead of just, like, the two-lane highways that uh, we pretty much have now. Not sure if they're just limitations of the engines, if they get too much AI traffic, if it just kind of bogs everything down, causes, you know, issues. I don't know. I thought this was intersection. Guess not. See? That's one thing that really bugs me about the road system in this game is you can be going along, going along, going along. Next thing you know, oh shit! You come up to an intersection and you gotta, you know, slam on your brakes and 
it doesn't really give you any kind of fair warning that uh, if there's an intersection or a stop sign or whatever coming up ahead, you just come up on it. It'd be nice if, you know, there were signs or, you know, if the speed limit went from 55 to 35 or whatever. Hello, Nevada. Now we can drive fast, although I probably won't on this road. And I'm digging this road. This is a nice change of pace. It'd be kind of interesting since they have went back and fixed some of the goofy stuff with this latest patch on the road system. I'm just kind of curious to see how how it evolves moving forward. I know they were just uh, over here in the states. SES that is uh, was just over here in the states for about a week or so. Uh, they went to the Mid American Truck Show. We talked a little bit about that, and then they went to uh, Packard up at Washington State, and now they're coming back out to uh, PAX East. I'm sure to promote the game and whatnot. But I'm hoping every time they come over here to the U.S. that they take a little bit more away with them on just how the whole North American trucking scene works. There's the intersection. I know sometimes we give them a lot of grief for uh, some of the silly stuff they do. But I'm definitely willing to kind of give them the benefit of the doubt to see, you know, what they can go back and fix now. Since it seems like they're getting some contacts within some of the big, uh, big truck manufacturers. And it seems like uh, they're at least making more of an effort than they have in the past to really kind of dial in the North American uh, truck games. So we'll see what the future holds and see what they do. friggin' middle of nowhere. town here. Tonopah discovered. Hello, Tonopah. Nice scenic little town. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Now, I don't know how accurate a lot of the towns are and cities are in the game. I'm sure they're not 100% accurate. And that doesn't bother me too much. But I gotta say, I, I do like this little town. This is this is pretty nice. It's like a, they've created a nice little mountain town here. I like it a lot. I don't know, some people are probably going, what? That doesn't bother you? Some of the other stuff does? Yeah. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and start to wrap this one up. Be sure to check out, uh, check in tomorrow because... 
on Wednesday, I'm going to start uploading gameplay footage. You're going to call that Gameplay Wednesday because why not? And be sure to tune in Thursday when I upload another episode of Stories from the Road. Going to try it for about a week or two. This Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday upload thing. See how it goes. Uh, there's definitely been a lot more activity and interest uh, on the channel since I've been doing the ATS content. There's been a lot, a lot more interaction than I've had in the past. So I figured I'd go ahead and uh, give it a shot and try to do a couple more uploads a week and just see how all that works out. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hanging out. Greatly appreciate it. And you guys kind of know the routine by now. If you like today's video, please go ahead and give it a like and a share. Uh, when you like it, it just helps me, uh, lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm producing, the direction that I'm taking all this stuff, the channel and whatnot. And just sharing it helps uh, helps me get some exposure. Still a pretty small channel. Have seen have seen a lot of growth uh, over the last uh, couple months, so I appreciate that. But sharing it just gets me a little bit more exposure. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to take a look around. And please consider subscribing, guys. All right. We're going to go ahead and cut out of here, guys. Be sure to tune in Wednesday for Gameplay Wednesday. Be sure to tune in Thursday for another episode of Stories from the Road. Till next one, guys. Take care. I'm <laughs> sorry.